Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I got a question and you're getting the code PO635. I'll put it up here on the screen for you. If you don't know how to check codes, be sure to check out this video on how to check the codes on a teardrop style gauge like we have here on this one. There's a teardrop style. On the Ultera XR models, it will show up the code on the display until you fix the issue. Then you can cycle your key on back off and then back on and if you've got your issue resolved then you shouldn't have that code on there anymore. So check out this video on how to get to the diagnostic mode on the Alteras and I'll put these on in the description as well. You can check out all these videos I have on how to do all this. But your code PO635 that could mean that your battery is low or you have a weak battery and the best thing you could do is go get it load tested at your local auto parts store and if your battery is low, it doesn't have the cranking amps anymore, it's just worn out, you may need to get a new battery in there. Um, second thing you can do is check your throttle cable is adjusted properly. It may also mean that your TPS may need adjusted, your ISC may need reset, or your EFI system needs to be resynced. Now that may sound like a lot, but don't worry, it's not that hard to do. To adjust the TPS, you'll just need to loosen the TPS sensor on the throttle body, turn your key on, go to the diagnostic mode, on the TPS and you can adjust that sensor there to the center of the display and you don't have to move this very much. You barely just have to move the sensor to adjust it. It's very fine tuning and you can check out this video on how to adjust your TPS sensor and everything you need to know is in that video. Then you'll need to sync the EFI system which is pretty easy. You can check out this video on how to resync the EFI system. If these aren't showing up, I'll have all these videos linked down in the description below. 2010 to 2014 there were fuel pump issues and the fuel pump would go bad and wouldn't keep that 43 psi that's needed that's required for these ATVs to run so you could check that you're getting the correct fuel pressure that 43 psi from your fuel pump should be constant pressure and I'll just hook up the fuel pressure gauge in line to the fuel line and you can check your fuel system that way so I hope this all helps you out if you have any more questions be sure to comment below if you've got questions i'll try to answer them the best i can and be sure to subscribe follow along and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching